You know what? Fuck this bullshit snow. Look at this bullshit. This is ridiculous. I'm gonna go make something nice and warm. Hello everyone, welcome back. Today, since it's really cold out, we're gonna be making chili. So there's a couple things we're gonna need. You're gonna need a pound and a half or two pounds of 80-20 ground beef. You're gonna need two packets of the McCormick's chili spice. You're gonna need a can of dark red kidney beans, two cans of uh, just sauce, Hans Cantadina, it doesn't matter, I like Hans for this. And then you want to get a uh, nice medium size, actually a little larger size thing of paste chunky salsa. Get it mild, don't get it with the lime. And then you're going to need a tablespoon of our secret ingredient here. Now, before we start, I know what you're saying, but if you're a chili enthusiast, it doesn't come with fucking kidney beans. Nobody eats kidney beans in it. Well, I have this to say to you. Fuck you. We're going to have ours with kidney beans, and it's going to be heartier, and it's going to taste so much better. Also, if you like it really spicy, at the end of this, you can just, instead of getting mild, you, I guess you could get the hot, or you can just uh, put some secret aardvark hot sauce in it, or whatever hot sauce you want in it. All right. So the first thing we're going to do is I'm going to get this packet of uh, meat, open up we're gonna cook this up first and then we're gonna get all of this into our uh, pot here and then we're gonna cook this until it boils and then we're gonna simmer it for about 45 minutes so let's get started and now when you're cooking this up you can chunk it either small or big it doesn't really matter I'm gonna do mine I don't know a little bit bigger Looking pretty good so far. Alright, I think we're about ready now. Yep, that should be nice. Take this and strain it. Now, if you want to listen to Kay, I guess you can wash your meat at this point, but I wouldn't recommend washing it for this. You can, a little bacteria in your life's not going to kill you. I think you'll be all right. So we're going to open up our cans here, and if uh, if this is too much sauce, I mean you can use a can and a half. I think when I did it last, a can was, uh, one can wasn't enough, but we'll see. We'll try it out. We'll put in our cans first. Get this other one open. Hey, I did it. I did it without spilling it all over the place. Aren't I just fucking genius? Now, when you pour in the kidney beans, we're going to leave all the juice in there. We're not draining any of that juice. So it's going to give it some extra flavor. You got any left? Nope. Put in our pace. I'll get a little the camera a little closer. Put in our meat. A little bit drop, that's alright. I'm going to give it a quick stir and then we'll put it on the uh, stove and we'll stir it again. Alright, let's put in our chili packets. Should 
Try and get as much of this out of there as you can. These are really good. I think they're really good anyway. And we got one more. All right, and then we're gonna put in our secret ingredient in here. Obviously, it's a secret. I'm not telling you what it is. We'll stir it up. Mm. It already smells pretty good. See, it looks like chili already. And we just gotta heat it up. So we'll get it on the stove here. There we go, we're on high. Let me get some light on, hang on. There we go, we got a little light now. Let's see if you can't see it. Good stir, get that crap off the sides. Should bubble up pretty fast. Hmm. See, now I like, see how thick it is already? You can see it's nice and thick. You'll see it later, but we'll have uh, the onions from the uh, salsa will be in there really nice. You'll taste that nice salsa flavor. And it won't be too hot for those who have a more mild palate like I do. And that way, again, like I said earlier, you can just uh, add hot sauce to it. So we're going to wait until it boils up here, and then uh, we'll start simmering it. All right, this should be about good enough. So we're gonna put her down to relatively low. Let's see. We're gonna put the lid on her. We're gonna let her simmer for about 45 minutes to an hour. I would recommend, I'm gonna probably end up stirring it every, I don't know, 20 minutes or so. But we'll come back and see how it looks. It's been about 40 minutes. This is what it looks like when you don't stir it. It looks pretty runny, but if we stir it up real good, it should be just nice again. I don't want stuff to stick to the bottom here. It's smelling pretty good. The flavors are come busting out just nice out of the pan. So we're going to let this go another couple more minutes, and then we should be good to go. All right, so it's all done and a little cool finally. So I just got a little bit here in a three ounce cup. If you can see, you can see the um, green pepper up there. There should be a little onion in there too. I can see it on the side here. Get it out with my spoon, see it on my spoon there. Now I think it smells really good. You can obviously smell the nice tomato sauce. And uh, I think I would have put a little less of my secret ingredient in it. I think a tablespoon was too much. I think probably a teaspoon would have been better. but. We'll see how it is. Hmm. It's good. It's uh, nice and meaty. Hearty from the beans, like I said. A lot of people don't like beans in their chili, but I do, I think. I mean, you can do whatever you think is best. And the taste, the mildness is just right for it. And you can always add a little bit more uh, like cheddar cheese on top of it or whatever you want. But if you do make it, enjoy and let me know what you think. Oh shit, I forgot to mention, happy late Thanksgiving. I hope everybody's Thanksgiving was good. And thank you all for the subscriptions. I can't believe I hit 400 subscribers. Fucking snowing again, Jesus Christ.